Hello and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a processor and a second CPU riser kit into an HP Z6G4 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and making sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need a Torx head screwdriver. The Z6G4 workstation can support one or two Intel Xeon scalable processor family CPUs with up to 28 cores per processor. Compatible CPUs are listed on the screen. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side and remove the panel to reveal the interior. Now apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste on the processor. It will spread out once you place the heat sink on top. To install the new processor, take notice of the directional markings on the CPU and make sure it matches with the corresponding mark on the bottom of the heatsink. Gently place the processor inside the bracket until it snaps into place. Line the holes on the motherboard with the screws on the heatsink to secure the heatsink assembly to the motherboard. To install a second processor, follow the same steps for the CPU socket on the riser board and place the kit in the system. To install the riser board, line the brackets up with the slots inside the system and press down until the clips snap into place. Lastly, reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.